Morning everybody, it's Christian from Stern Education with the four majors and analysis update for the 18th of April 2012. Hi everybody, okay, let's have a look at the four majors this morning, starting with the euro against the US dollar. And in front of me I have the daily of the euro, let's have a look, ooh, yesterday, very, 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 very indecisive. After all that uh, bounce, psychological bounce of 1300 on Monday, we saw price yesterday uh, coming will turn out to be indecisive a nice doji here open and close very 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 close tight and um, this pretty much in play with the actual trend line at the moment now this little intermediate trend line you can quite clearly see let's have a look there we go I've just drawn in the dark and then um, there's also a lot of hesitation here at 13 between the 13 one five and 13 one six area there's a lot of um Support and resistance comes into that play. We've had a little hesitation here, resistance here before. And yesterday also hesitation at this level. So if this is to, to look like a hammer bounce on 1300, so we can start seeing buying sentiment creeping in as we saw before. Nice bounce here. Another hammer bounce before, back in early Feb. Then we do need to see a bullish engulfing. Uh, we need to see price trading above 13, 1500 in particular and heading towards the 13, 1200, which is a very strong support and resistance level. So you have... Uh, this hesitation area here between 13, 1500, 1600 to get above, get above that, then we should see a, the US session trailing higher. If we fail that, we see a bullish engulfing here or down candle, then we should see a revert to the downside and a retest of 1300 quite soon because of that. Okay, so very, very interesting setup here. We do need to see a decision candle, so until further notice, we have to wait for a decisive candle, whether it's up or down, your choice. 4 hour dictates that prices are below institutional moving average. RSI has spent a lot more time below the 50. We are coming from highs to the downside and we are testing this uh, intraday swing. Okay, well, not intraday, yeah, more of an intraday swing, but you can quite clearly see that price is failing to actually rally above these points. Okay, I'm just going to make it nice and strong so you can see it. So, 1500, yeah, 13, 1500, 1600, you can see noticeably there is a hesitation area on our 4 hour chart. Okay, and then when we get above that, we have the institution and that hesitation area yet again at 13200. Very strong one here at 13200. So, and this is the 23.6 on our Fib retracement on our weekly chart. So, got to do a lot of momentum to get higher. CTC on the time frame is blue, 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 blue across the board. However, we are trading into a major resistance level and you can see the price is consolidated under that resistance level. Got to see a bullish break of this 13500 in order to see 13200 being, uh, 200 being tested. But until such time as we don't get that, then we should be looking for bearish sentiment to break below this 23.6 here at 1310. Would see price reverting to the downside and testing 13, uh, 1300, which is a very long term support and resistance level. Next up is sterling. Let's have a look at the daily. You can see that after that attempt of the 1600 recently, we had this bearish engulfing uh, not so long ago. However, on the last couple of days, we've seen a nice corrective bounce here at uh, the 15800, which happens to be the institution moving average, as well as the 50 period moving average. And a nice, uh, almost like a bullish Arami. And we've seen price reverting to the upside. Yesterday, trading range quite wild. However, still closing higher than the previous high, uh, or daily high. And the momentum drawing or looking favorable for further tops are at the re-attempts of the 1600. Notice there is a swing low, and you can see that the trend direction is attempting that or price is attempting that swing low area as we speak. So the trading range over the Asian session going into the European session, quite small. On our four hour time frame, you can see those highs here at 1605, which happened to be the 1600, but you can see the lower swings, which dictates uh, swing lows, which ultimately reflects that we are seeing negative sentiment. We are trading above the institution moving average and above 15800, which happens to be a very strong support and resistance. And as long as it maintains above the institution moving average at 15,500, then the ultimately the the sentiment is still bullish top side. So it's just a bullish consolidative tra um, trend at the moment under 1,600. We had a failed attempt here at this level 23.6, and you can see that over the past couple uh, in the last day or so, we've had further hesitation at this area, a nice little shooting star after this bullish upside candle at a 23.6, a fib retracement area, and prices pulled back. How far is this pullback likely to be? That remains to be seen. As you can see that the upside swing here is in play as you speak. Last 60 or 12 hours has seen price finding support at the 15200 mark, I think it is. Let me just have a look here quickly. Let me extend that. Yeah, 15200. A hammer, more happening on the upside. Next while candle will decide 
whether it's bearish or bullish, we do need to see a bullish engulfing here, a nice hammer engulfing, and we should see a rear temp to 59, uh, 15.55 and higher towards the 1600 mark. Next up is US dollar Swiss franc. Let's have a look. You can see clearly that uh, the price has been falling over the past couple of months as we've been heading or inching higher into 2012. Price has been pretty much going sideways uh, for a long period of time. Breakouts here and there, but has, however, still collectively trading between the 910 and the 920 uh, here. Okay, but what we've seen is the US dollar, uh, the US dollar Swiss franc falling. But well, clearly, we've had a high followed by a tweezer top, followed by a further hesitation here. A lot of resistance above us here at 920 and this exhaustion candle. Yes, yesterday, ideally, it would have been far better if we saw a nice bullish engulf into the downside. We end up with a spinning top. Oh. Oh, it's a doji pack. Well, it's a doji clear open and close on that actual area here. However, still above the 20 period moving average, as well as the 50 and the institution. CTC is blue across the board. So, if this is to remain bullish, we need to see a break and trade higher than 920. Bullish engulfing here would cancel out this resistance that we've seen for a full week before we see a re attempt of these highs here at 927 and ultimately 935. Until then, what we could see is ideally have a bearish candle to the downside, testing 910. Break of 910 would see 9000 being tested again quite soon before we see the institution moving up to 985 uh, back on target again. So after a doji, you want to see a decision candle. So you have to give this day back to the market to see a clear indication where price wants to be, and then we'll trade that decision. In this case, we had a doji. Let's see if we can get a nice bullish engulfing to break, um, to confirm that the sentiment is true bullish as the CT it refers to in the chart, and then we, we need to see a break above 920 in order to see the 927 mark as our first potential target. Otherwise, we see a break below, uh, bullish engulfing, a uh, bearish engulfing, apologies, uh, towards the 910 with an outlook of 9000 to start with as our first target. Last pair of the day is the US dollar Japanese yen. Let's have a look. Upside, we've had a reversal since the 8400 was uh, attested, long, uh, long term major support and resistance level on our weekly. And prices revert to the downside. In doing so, testing these pullbacks, the FIB pullbacks, yeah, 23.6. Break of it just recently in early April has saw has seen price uh, clearly testing 38.2. And in doing so, breaking below and now failing to to find um, support with resistance. And then we had a short uh, break to the downside. However, yesterday we had a bullish engulfing, and this morning on the Asian session we've seen price trading higher than this 81 here, which is a 38. Point the 38.2 fib retracement if it closes if this candle closes higher today then we could see a re uh, attempt to the upside this pair here psychologically 80 is a very strong area of support okay on a weekly and monthly charts this breakout chart this can classically be called the breakout the pullback and now we're going to see the continuation as price starts to buy into this so this could be a really good trade to the upside um, as long as the 8100 stays in play, but uh, long term, as long as price is trading above 80, then the uh, the, the long term um, chart would be looking favorable topside um, towards these highs we saw recently at 8400 to start with long term. So long may it last. We could see US dollar being purchased here, and we could see some further easing austerity measures by the Japanese government, which would help. Uh, with this exact move to the upside. So as it stands now, trade above 80 would see potential for a uh, long-term bounce to occur. You can see this bullish engulfing and engulfing yesterday's neg uh, the previous day's negativity and in doing so trading above this 80 which happens to be a price strong support and resistance. If it closes higher here then you'll see on your smaller time frames your hourly and four hour that price momentum or that positive or bullish price momentum starting to push price and you should see the CTC etc on your smaller time frames actually showing you that. There we go on the hourly, you can see quite clearly a break above the institution moving average just recently and in doing so taking above the 8100 which I mentioned was a strong intraday support and resistance. Now wait for the pullback and then we could see further extensions higher. You can see the RSI well over 50 now and you can see quite clearly that we are having a pullback, not a problem. That's That, that's, that happens when you see a nice break to the upside. 23.6 at 8120 has to stay in play if we can find support and then we could see further buying sentiment coming in as the, the European session opens and then we should be looking for favorable topside as our next target. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, hope you have a fantastic trading day today. 
please ensure that you follow the 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 rules of the strategy CT, the rules of the strategy strategy and that's making sure that you have your buy arrow the uh, candlesticks and the actual CTC on either side the bands on either side in your favor make sure you plot major support and resistance levels on your charts okay and look for clear defined candlestick patterns in and around those areas to confirm that we are seeing change in market sentiments or we're seeing bullish rallies bearish uh, rallies etc and then make sure that you back that up with sound money management rules okay once everything's in your favor you do get a confirmation from the market what's likely to occur for that particular time frame that you're trading make sure that your money management rules fit and then you just place the trade you've got to be keep your trading very very mechanical try and take as much motion out of your trading as possible the motion that um, that that individuals bring to trading is what gets them into a lot of trouble so try and trade as mechanically as possible other than that hope you have a fantastic trading day and i'll see you first thing tomorrow morning until then trade serenely